Snakes and other reptiles in Africa have a long history of social antagonism associated with sin, fear and death. Our great-grandfathers have also played a big role in installing this fear, passing it on from generation to generation. Today, it is a deeply seated tradition that builds a strong rift between humanity and the entire reptile world, snakes inclusive. Reptile species in Uganda are many and varied. They are distributed across a diversity of habitat in the country's rich ecosystems. Let's start with the snakes of Uganda. Uganda has numerous snake species, but the major ones include Africa's forest cobra and the black mamba. This is restricted to the thick jungles of Mabira, Kalinzu, and big water bodies like the shores of Lake Victoria and her neighboring swamps. The forest cobra is the largest of all cobra species in Uganda. In Uganda, most of the snake injuries are inflicted by cobras. To understand this, we took a visit to Bunono, a reptile village located in Wakiso district, quite close to the Lake Victoria. It's here that Yasin Kaziwe owns the two-acre reptile village. Kaziwe takes us across the background and history of his reptile village. I've realized that most of Ugandans are not aware about reptiles and they are great importance to the development of our country. So I came up with an idea of uh, opening up a rescue center uh, with the mission of rescuing them from danger and also to rescue people uh, the same way. When people come across these snakes, they kill them, which is bad. I mean, we need these snakes. Yeah, we have reptiles ranging from snakes in different species. So it's all about reptiles anyway. So as I have told you, it's called a forest cobra. So as you see it here, it is now in the process of shedding off its skin, though the eyes have not yet turned to... At Kaziwe's reptile village, we were amused to learn that the Egyptian cobra lays up to 10 eggs on average, which, unlike those of chicken, will hatch in 75 days. Michael, a caretaker, has been guiding tourists, learners and researchers here. This one here is called the Egyptian cobra. It is a very aggressive snake. And normally with the neurotoxin venom, when it bites you, you'll get some different symptoms, whereby you'll get some swelling in the armpits, and then you'll get some breeding. That is something like 2 and 30 minutes for you if you don't get medication. They normally live in big forests. In Uganda, I can give you an example of Mavira. And then in some water areas of River Nile. And then mostly swampy areas. So we put in some troughs of water. The African python is one of the largest snakes in the world, with an average adult measuring up to 8.7 meters in length. It is non-venomous and hunts by using its strong muscles around its prey. Unlike other snakes, the African python generates infrared rays emitted by her forked tongue that enable this hunter to locate its prey. An African python can live up to 17 years in the wild but could live longer in captivity. This particular one was rescued from the botanical gardens in Entebbe where people had wanted to kill it. Uh, they ca it can bite uh, but for them they are conscriptors. That's how they kill their play. Like if it finds like a goat, it will use its own muscles to conscript around it. After killing it, then it swallows it. You can see that its head is a bit small, but it can enable it to swallow a big play, like a big goat, uh, rabbits, just because their jaws, they are flexible, whereby it can widen them up to 90 degrees. As you can see it, it's shedding. It's in the process of shedding, and when they are shedding, they are, most of the snakes are very, very weak. They have diseases, and um, mosquitoes also bite them. But for us here at Uganda Reptiles Village, we have our doctor who help us to treat these animals. You can differentiate a sick snake from a normal snake, just, just like people. 
when you see someone who is sick, you can you can tell that that person is really sick. They can also be affected by cancer. Jackson Mamba. The Jackson Mamba, on the other hand, is in the family of cobras and other mamba species. It is a very fast-moving snake and locally known as the flying snake because of her ability to jump from one tree to another. The Jackson Mamba, when provoked, flattens its head, retreats back, coils its tail, and the next step is to strike. It uses scales on its lower belly to hold onto trees so as to affect her movements. A female Jackson Mamba has a long tail, while the male has a short one with a lifespan of up to 15 years in the wild. Well, um, I'm happy in the sense that uh, most of people are changing their attitude. They, they have started liking them. So you can find ladies, you know, playing with snakes like a geese snake. I mean, it's really impression. Nobody could be close to snake. I mean, now there are even more uh, organizations opening, trying to rescue snakes. Ali is another friend of nature. She is a second year student at Kunkumba University. According to Isha, reptiles are now rare in her village. Mm. Jackson tree snake, Kadugara. The Jackson tree snake, commonly known as Kadugara, is said to be very dangerous. Her venom is so toxic that her victims, if not quickly attended to, could lose their dear life in as short a time as 30 minutes. In Uganda, it is restricted to Budongo Forest, with a lifespan of up to 12 years or more. Kadugala feeds on rats and frogs, whether poisonous or not. Records show that the Jackson tree snake is carnivorous. It is said Kadugala at times feeds on fellow snakes of different species, when food is scarce. The Jackson tree snake also poses three outer skin layers, which it sheds off in three consecutive intervals. The Viper The Viper or Salambwa is a very slow snake with a length of up to 89 centimeters, when fully grown. This is a very unique reptile in that it gives birth to young ones, live. The Viper does not lay eggs. It feeds on rats, birds and frogs. Vipers are mostly found in big and thick forests, and hills, and these days in people's homes. This is largely because people have destroyed their habitat. In the wild, a viper can live up to 14 years. This particular viper weighs 7 kilograms and is 5 years old. It was rescued from someone's home in Mengo. The Nile monitor lizard has the ability to fight, kill, and eat wild dogs. It has also the potential to hunt small mammals and birds. The most common hunting ground of the monitor lizard is in the crocodile's nests. The tail is the most dependable weapon to fight the enemies. Her enemies include man who is always hunting them for their skin. The Nile monitor lizard is also a good scavenger. It is commonly found on river banks like those of Makishon Falls National Parks and Ngamba Islands. Monitor lizards live in rocky areas. They frequently come out of the water to bask on the rocks. Crocodiles Uganda has two crocodile species out of the 21 distinct species of the world. The dwarf crocodiles mostly found in the salty waters of Lake Albert and the Nile crocodiles found in fresh waters. But here at the reptile village, these particular Nile crocodile species were rescued as they strayed from the northern shores of Lake Victoria into the three-kilometer-long man-made river at the Bunono village. Crocodiles are one of the world's most amazing creatures. They are the ultimate survivors of the Precambrian times. In fact, crocodiles were even on Earth before the dinosaurs themselves. Crocodiles are the world's largest reptilian predators, sometimes weighing over one ton when mature. They also have the ability to live up to a century. Crocodiles are carnivorous animals, feeding mostly on vertebrates such as fish, birds, mammals, and other smaller reptiles. The chameleon. In general, chameleons are less dangerous because they don't have teeth. They hunt for their food using their sticky tongue. At the reptile village, 
Fish is always tossed into the greenhouse to attract flies, which the chameleon fancy to feed on. They don't bite. Chameleons have characters unique to other reptiles. They change color depending on situations and the environment. When irritated, for example, they have the ability to change to black color. They will always appear green when comfortable. Each eye of a chameleon can see in all directions through 360 degrees. A chameleon has the ability to see distant objects with only one eye. But when the two eyes focus in the same direction, it acquires a telescopic vision. An African chameleon has quick adaptation to the environment. It will change color to resemble the surrounding objects as camouflage against enemies. I was the first of my kind in Uganda to start this mission. Always when you have a problem with a snake, you call Uganda Reptile Village. Everybody is welcome. I mean, together we can save this nature.